Youth is wasted on the young, or as the old saying goes, young people don't know how to handle life because they're young. But time is a fickle thing and it catches up to all of us. And that is something that we are seeing with so many of these actors in Hollywood. They're running out of time. They're getting older. They're not able to do what they once were able to do. Hell, I'm only 30 years old and I'm gonna tell you right now, doing stuff that I could do when I was 18, I can still do it, but it definitely hurts a lot the next day. Well, that seems to be the sentiment that Hugh Jackman is sharing right now. So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to A Drink With Crazy. My name is Royce, your humble host, and I hope that you guys enjoy what I am doing here. But this is something that I've been wanting to point out for a while now, is that a lot of these movies that keep wanting to bring back these actors, for instance, Pirates of the Caribbean, I think they just dropped something about an Iron Man 4 where Robert Downey Jr. is going to return. Don't know how that's going to go. Haven't watched that. But... When you talk about these actors who are definitely not spring chickens and they are absolutely no longer in their prime. In fact, many of them 20, 30 years past their prime. I mean, look what they did with Picard. Obviously, Patrick Stewart is nowhere near his prime and we see the effects of time on the body and the mind. And now... Over here on Fandom Wire. So over here on Fandom Wire, this is actually a website that I've only come across once or twice before. No idea if it's a trash rag, but you know what? It is what it is. And so that being said, take this with a grain of salt. There's a good chance many of his scenes will be CGI. 54 year old Hugh Jackman no longer has the strength to get back in shape for Wolverine in Deadpool 3. Uh, may rely heavily on VFX. Okay, so let's pause here. Heavily on VFX. This is something that I absolutely hate about modern movies is they rely so heavily on VFX that they think that they can just do anything and everything. And it is something I absolutely detest. I want to get back to practical. I want to get back to men and women working out for roles, being able to physically pull off what they are doing. And if you say, well, you couldn't do that. Yeah, no crap, but I'm not an actor and it's not my job. I'm literally like, I drink beer on the internet, people. Like, what do you, what do you expect of me? Anyway, I digress. Hugh Jackman's, reprive, uh, Hugh Jackman's reprisal of the Marvel role Wolverine after his last 2017 appearance in Logan rivals Henry Cavill's reprisals of the DC unit. No, it, no, 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 no. First of all, as much as I'm sure Henry Cavill is a good guy, him returning to the role of Superman and Hugh Jackman returning to the role of Wolverine. They're, they're not even, I mean, Hugh Jackman coming back to the role of Superman's more like Little League. He, uh, Henry Cavill. Henry Cavill, Superman, Little League, Hugh Jackman, Wolverine, Big Leagues. Sorry, too many names, really tired. But you guys get what I'm saying. Okay, no, it's not akin to the same thing, not remotely close. There are some people that are excited for it. For instance, I, as long as it's not Snyderverse crap, I might watch Henry Cavill as Superman, maybe, I don't know. Not really impressed with his portrayal of Superman, which wasn't his fault, it was writer's fault, but yeah, Henry Cavill, nothing against the guy. I honestly think that Henry Cavill would be a fantastic James Bond. I think Henry Cavill, James Bond, mm, mm. Uh, chef's kiss chef's kiss, but these aren't even in the same ballpark All right after his last appearance uh, in a Justice League and no yeah, that was a not a good movie We all know he didn't return for the 20 uh, 21 reshoots yet No, obviously not the constant rush of adrenaline fueled news from the CBM franchise has surely been keeping us warm throughout the fall season but in the meantime, <laughs> we seem to have forgotten the actors themselves. Unlike their superhuman counterparts, are aging just like the rest of us mortals. Yup. Hugh Jackman's uh, Hugh Jackman's return might cost Marvel some heavy CGI. Well, of course it's going to. He's 54. He's 54, guys. He's not. He's not the young guy that we saw in the first movie, or even you know. The, you know, the 40 year old man or almost 40 year old man that was in, you know, some of the other Wolverine movies. He's not 
Okay, the Logan actor is famed for his original X-Men first class cameo. What? What? In which retrospect was epic. And also his latest Marvel entry, which in foresight is historical. He's famed for his, for his original X-Men first class cameo? Oh my god, I'm reading a trash garbage rag. Oh my good lord. No, he's famed for, I don't know, the original X-Men trilogy that he was in, and he was the most popular character, and they started doing movies off of him. In fact, the only way to get people's butts in seats after that original trilogy was to basically say, we got Hugh Jackman. Holy crap. Hugh Jackman's stay at Marvel has proved durable not merely because of his character's healing factor, oh god, but because of the incredible storytelling that Wolverine can provide. Or, you know, the writers kind of had some idea how to do it. Over the 17 years of the actor portraying the role, it had almost become a matter of permanence, and Jackman became synonymous with his comic book alter ego. Very true. I will agree with that last point. Most of these people are trash uh, are trash hag writers. That's fine. Uh, but as the actor prepares for his entry into the stratosphere of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, that was about so five years ago. That, that the Marvel Cinematic Universe is on the downhill. Why do you think they have to revive his character? All right, skip that. Don't care about the rest of that sound. The 54-year-old actor has shared numerous videos to show how he's been getting back into fighting shape for his return in Deadpool 3. But despite this fact, reports suggest a lot of digital legwork for Marvel's VX, VFX team will be uh, concentrated on the Aussie during the post-production. Yes, and this is something, this gets to my point. Time is going to get to all of us. And actually, and I... Um, in, in one of my earlier videos or posts, I can't actually remember which one it was, um, but I had uh, the real nerdy review. He commented he was, uh, you know, really excited to see, you know, guys like this come back. And I said, no, I really don't. I said, I think they're too old for the roles. They just they've done their time. They've done their roles. I, I just think there comes a point when you age and not everybody ages at the same rate. Right. So don't get well, this person who's yes, it's all on an individual basis, but you can see age affect people differently. Now, when age affects people differently, some people can go longer some people can't i mean this is a highly intensive physical role okay henry cavill although he might have to look good for some movies henry cavill being superman i do not think is going to be as intensive as logan okay i don't believe that for a second and especially when you have to rely on vfx for a character like superman there's a lot of things there where it doesn't have to be as intensive now going to a guy who is absolutely physical in a lot of his roles tom cruise has seemed to stand the test of time i mean he's well into his 60s now and still pulling off physical stunts i mean if we really want to talk about the you know the guy who just can do his own stunts and didn't give up until he physically couldn't do anymore jackie chan right so time affects everybody differently but my point in what the real nerdy review said you know and that i'm not really excited for these older actors to keep doing their roles is because we need to let the timeless stay timeless and the only reason that they are doing this the only reason that they are doing anything remotely close to bringing hugh jackman back for deadpool 3 is because disney needs money okay they've had failure after failure they're not i mean yeah they still bring in some coin here and there but what they've been doing with the marvel cinematic universe isn't working to bring an aging actor in is not the same as just to start hiring people who can write good stories again, okay? And these guys can't do it forever, but for some reason, just like we have seen with them having to go back to other comic book characters that they can't create, that they can't make, Disney can't make a new actor because they don't have the writing chops to do it. The reason Hugh Jackman is big, the reason Henry Cavill is big, the reason that Robert Downey Jr. is big, the reason that um, Johnny Depp is big is because they were had good writing behind them, at least to some degree in their earlier careers, okay? 
you are not going to be able to sell these older actors who have these legacies behind them right just like you can't sell the comic books from the older characters that had legacies behind them because your writing is not good this is something that i absolutely love to see though because they're gonna make all the wrong moves and by making all the wrong moves the way that they are making them they are granting the space to the new people who are coming up who are writing guys like james craig guys like black knight guys like raul nyanzi guys like eric july guys like razor fist they are making way for all these fantastic creators because the only thing that they can do is look back in the past and try to use that thing that they think that worked which it wasn't the thing that they think it was so they go back in the past they use that thing they bring it to the present whether it's characters from a comic book or actors who are aging out and they try to make them the thing for their movie not realizing it had nothing to do with that it's all about the writing and it's all about how good those characters are so ladies and gentlemen thank you so much for checking out a drink with crazy and i want to know what you guys think down in the comments below whether you love me or hate me or you completely disagree with what i said here i want to hear about it in the comments below because i dedicate a special live stream to reading all of your comments on sunday because i feel that if you guys love me or hate me give me the time down in my comment section and give me the time to watch my videos then i should absolutely give you guys the time as well don't forget also to subscribe to this if you liked what i was doing like the video if you really liked what i was doing and check out some of the links down in the description and until next time cheers everybody thank you all for being here on a drink with crazy if you guys never want to miss a notification for the channel go down in the link in the description and click that button to follow me and support me over on locals it's free to join but that's where you can support me with money if you so choose also don't forget to click those rumble and odyssey links so that way we can get over there and keep that growing and until next time cheers everybody